officer is recovering right now after colliding with an oncoming car. It happened at the intersection of Northeast Sandy Boulevard at 28th Avenue. That's where Northwest Cable News reporter Wilson Chow joins us live now. Wilson, tell us exactly what happened. Well, Russ, that car was waiting in the intersection behind me over here. It was waiting to make a left turn from Sandy onto 28th Avenue right over there. That's when the crash happened. It was certainly scary moments for the driver, the officer, and even witnesses. They think they can turn. Basically head on. He's flipped on the other side. At the intersection of Sandy Boulevard and 28th Avenue in Northeast Portland, everyone from people on the street. I mean, it's not like this to happen. To morning commuters in their car saw a horrific sight. Indy Drake was driving with her husband to work. I saw a car turning, and before the accident actually happened, we knew that the bike was going to be hit. Investigators say a car going east on Sandy turned into the path of a Portland police motorcycle heading in the opposite direction. Witnesses saw the officer fly through the air and land hard on the pavement. He wasn't saying very much. He was groaning in pain. Officer Brian Hunziker was rushed to Emanuel Hospital where his family was waiting. We're told the seven-year veteran of the Portland Police Force will survive with no trauma injuries. Uh, the officer's uh, safety equipment all functioned properly, which uh, helped him uh, not receive any serious injuries. Investigators shut down the entire intersection during the height of the morning rush hour to take measurements and gather evidence. Officers said speed and alcohol were not responsible for the crash. She just said she just didn't see him. She was turning. You know, she looked and, it, you know, it happens. This happens with motorcycles. It happens with bicycles. But as gruesome as this crash may look, witnesses say the officer was just as fortunate. Very much in pain, but very much going to survive. And officers tell us they're not sure what's going to happen with the driver of the car just yet to tell us she may actually get a ticket for not yielding to that motorcycle officer. We'll send it back to you, Russ. Okay, Wilson, thank you.